Hi, Mark, and thanks for chatting with me today. Uh, you're, you're speaking uh, at CIO Water Cooler Live uh, in London uh, this November, and uh, on a topic uh, called drones, clones, and Russian hackers. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, what is it about? That's a great question. It's, it's about pretty much everything. And I, I think the drones, clones, and, and Russian hackers is, is a tiny subset of, of what we cover. So it's, it's very fast paced. It's, uh, it's a, a variation of a talk that I give every year. Um, so I've been doing it for probably the last four or five years. And it's a, it's a recap of uh, tech events that, that have happened over the last year. This is, this is actually um, sort of the second part of uh, the more fun part of a two part series. Um, this really covers a lot of the, the advances that we've seen over the last 12 months of uh, autonomous driving, AI, machine learning. Um, uh, this, uh, what else we got in there? We got robotics. Uh, as mentioned, we've got the drones. We've got, um, we've got flying vehicles. Um, and then we turn a little bit more to the dark side of uh, what's been happening with social media, with the, the automation of, uh, of attacks against... Um, um, these very high profile targets and also the, the balkanization of the internet. So what's happening with uh, Russia developing its own segregated internet. China obviously already has that and looking a little bit more at what the future of the internet might might hold. So it's very wide ranging, very, uh, very fast paced and aimed not specifically at deep techies. So this is supposed to be something that is um, consumable by anybody that just has a passing interest in tech that works in a, in a tech enabled business. So, Mark, you know, we're seeing this wave of uh, emerging tech. Uh, where are you seeing the value now for organizations uh, if in, in the context of emerging tech? It's a great question. And what, one thing that really stood out this year as I was putting this, um, this, this deck together versus last year. Last year, um, you know, I always have a pretty standard format that I follow and there's the topic headings and you know, we'll, talk about, we'll talk about cyber threats and then we'll talk about AI and machine learning and then we'll talk about all of these different things. But it, it became so difficult to pull them apart. And you know, the, the really crazy thing for me was it, I, I might have a section on, on gaming and what's happened with you know, the, the latest in gaming where we're talking about what NVIDIA is doing, but that bleeds straight into what's happening with AI. And then AI blends into NVIDIA is also involved in autonomous cars and autonomous cars that bleeds straight into, into the, the drone tech technology. So it's, it's the fact that tech is, is blending so seamlessly into each other. And I think it has a natural impact on, on businesses where uh, f for us, the, the, the depth of knowledge required to take advantage of some of these deep technologies is, is much less than it once was in a similar way to when, when we started out with the web, you had to be a web developer and you had to have quite a deep knowledge of um, how to program a computer to create a website. Now anybody can create a website. And we're now, we're now seeing those same trends happening in things like um, artificial intelligence, machine learning, probably more correctly. Um, and, um, automation so whether it's re robotic process automation or actual physical physical automation things like in, uh, the internet of things the the use of those is becoming much easier and so the, the value for businesses is really understanding what the scope of all those things are how they bleed into each other and i think the businesses that understand how to piece those jigsaws together is you don't need to be an ibm or a microsoft or a google a deep technology company you just need to be good at piecing together the right parts of the puzzle so so i think that that's the the really big thing that i'm seeing is just this, this seamless spread of how technologies flow into each other well, Mark, it sounds like we are in for quite a treat with your, your talk. Uh, and that again at CIO Water Cooler Live in London this November. Thank you for chatting with me today. And we're very welcome to you, seeing you there. Okay. Looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, Nick.